Hi Leo, this is your September 16th through the 22nd weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love entry in your life. In the second spread, um, we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Spread number three will be love from the past. In the fourth spread, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And uh, the fifth, the final spread, will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is a new love uh, this week, Leo. We have uh, the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Page of Wands. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Ten of Pentacles, with the Two of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing uh, with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, maybe a Fire sign, <laughs> just like you. Um, Sagittarius in particular, okay? So I, cl I don't usually clarify all three cards that come out in the, in the main spread on the left. This time I did, I was really, really hoping to see a king or an emperor or something like that, or someone like that. But we got what we got, and it's not too shabby either, Leo. It's not too shabby. So what you need to know about this person is that this person's financial situation recently improved, like drastically. This person either got lucky, <laughs> maybe they want some money, I don't know, you can ask them. For others of you, maybe they just got a, a good job, maybe they just struck a really good deal with somebody and now they're making money. Maybe they were an entrepreneur and they sold the company, maybe one of their investments paid off. I think this person recently came into money or perhaps they worked towards this really, really hard, all right? But yeah, this person is doing very well financially. You need to know that for sure. If right, you need, that's what you need to know about this person. And this person's coming in ready to get serious with you. Perhaps for some of you, you turned them down in the past because they weren't up to your standards in terms of finances. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong. With. Perhaps now they're doing much better and they're coming back feeling very confident that now you will take them in, now you'll accept them, and I think you will. <laughs> or, like I said, their financial situation improved uh, uh, before they met you, or something like that. All right. Uh, yeah, they're coming in with uh, serious intentions. There's like there's a lot of pentacle cards, a lot, right? I count uh, five, five cards. So half of the cards on the table, the table are pentacles, right? Uh, the six of pentacles, nine of pentacles, ten, knight, ace, ace of pentacles. And they're coming in very confident that you'll take them, that you'll accept them, because now they can provide, because now uh, they can um, offer you um, anything you wish for, okay? That's how it feels. Again, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the... Uh, this type of an offer, but uh, yeah, we got the. Um, this is this person is very generous, by the way. They're going to be very generous when it comes to you, right? We start with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, like I said, could have been literally a very fortunate turn of events for this person. Maybe they got lucky, or maybe they started something. The Wheel of Fortune is a start of a cycle, a very fortunate cycle. So they could have gotten a job. They could have. Uh, sold their company if they had one, um, or, or started, you know, went into a partnership with another business partner, you know, the, something really good just happened to this person. Um, the Six of Pentacles clarifying it is that first uh, Pentacle cards, Six of Pentacles could have could be a card of generosity, could be a card of money coming in, they could have been chosen or selected for something, okay? Um, and uh, they became the person in the Nine of Pentacles, the next card over. I think that's them. I think that's them. It's a card of somebody who is, you know, self-sufficient, independent, somebody who is very confident, somebody who is glowing up, very successful. It's a card of somebody who is doing very well financially. All right? The, the Page of Wands clarifying that, they're, they're going to message you. <laughs> the Page of Wands, I think it's a message or some sort of communication from them to you. All right, so they're coming in with the six of ones, clarified by the uh, ten of cups, and I believe that ace of pentacles is also a part of this uh, six of ones offer. The six of ones is a card of somebody who feels like they've just recently won, 
they feel it's a card of somebody who is very confident. There's a card of again of somebody who is in the center of attention. It's a card of victory, success. It's a card of attention, right? The Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is the offer itself, very serious offer, like as serious as it gets. Um, because we also have two marriage cards on the table. The first one is actually clarifying that six of ones, the ten of cups. Clarifying that six of ones is the first marriage. Card, this is their intention when it comes to you. They want to marry you, Leo. They want to spend the rest of their life with you. And the Ten of Pentacles, the first card in the potential outcome, is also a marriage card. Right? We also have that Knight of Pentacles right next to the deck. Yeah, longevity. This is the most long-term oriented knight out of all four knights. And the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights. And the Two of Cups in the middle of the potential outcome, as you can see, we have two people in it. And I think that's you and this person. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of when two people are on the same page, feeling the same way towards one another. So this looks rock solid. Rock solid, Leo. Really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Leo, this part is for you. Uh, we have the Devil, the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Sun. Uh, we also have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Swords, and we have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Pisces, uh, perhaps even another Leo. I can interpret this a couple of different ways, uh, Leo, but I will just focus on the, the scenario that speaks to me the most. And I see scenarios like this, similar to this, every once in a while. Not necessarily in couples readings, but somebody here is um, finally getting rid of some kind of an addiction. That's what's happening. Or getting rid of um, a very toxic person. Okay, But for most of you, it's somebody finally, maybe even submitting themselves to a rehab. You know? Yeah. But somebody's either finally taking care of it or finally uh, realizing that they have a problem and they're starting to act upon it or something like that. I think the devil in this case is an addiction. All right, the ten of wands, the next card over is a card of a struggle, struggling with the addiction or struggling with the, the fact that uh, the other person has that addiction. Right, the ten of wands is clarified by the sun. The sun is your major arcana card. So again, maybe this is this was you who was struggling with something or. It's just been a huge burden for you that your person keeps relapsing or they, that your person, you know, ignores it or says, no, I do not have a problem. Uh, the hangman on the bottom of the deck, it could be a card of an epiphany. Oh, yeah, I do have a problem. Or they may have an epiphany. Yeah, yeah, I think I do have, an, uh, have a problem, right? It's also kind of a sacrifice. Perhaps you've been sacrificing yourself uh, yeah, and at the end we have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is a card of an ending, an abrupt ending, and what's coming to an end is the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is like a prison. So somebody's been a prisoner of that addiction, and that's finally coming to an end. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, uh, this week, or if you go back to someone from your past. <laughs> Keep in mind it doesn't have to be the most recent ex, it, it may not even be an ex. Anyway, uh, we've got the uh, Page of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Cups. Uh, we have the Lovers, clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This, um, by the way, yeah, you could be dealing with a Gemini, uh, we also have Water, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is one intriguing, interesting spread, Leo. Um, to be honest with you, there's nothing on the table that says this is uh, an X. Nope. It can be. It can be. But it, I don't see it. <laughs> there's no cards on the table suggesting this is somebody from the past. Perhaps maybe that Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck could uh, somehow play out. Uh, as uh, like the past energy because the Ace of Swords could be a card of like a very straightforward, very direct conversation. It could be some kind of truth coming out. Perhaps you two broke up in the past, but uh, there was some something that one of you couldn't say to the other person and maybe that's why you broke up and now the truth is finally coming out. Something, uh, something among those lines. But other than that, it looks fresh. It looks just off the press, fresh off the press, right? Um, so it, it may not be somebody like who is an ex, it could just be somebody from the past. And by the way, Leo, if you feel like reaching out to somebody, I think you should give it a shot. You'll be surprised, you'll even be amazed. Uh, 
as to how well uh, this is going to go. <laughs> right? Because we start with the page of ones. The page of ones is a card of communication. And uh, you are a fire sign, Leo. Right? The page of ones could be a card of uh, communication coming from a fire sign. All right, so for those of you who are thinking about reaching out to somebody from your past, yeah, don't be shy. Or the page of wants is somebody reaching out to you. And uh, the thing about the page of wants, it's not necessarily uh, a fire sign message uh, or a, a, a message from a fire sign. It's a card of like just checking in. Hey, long time no see. You. Hey, how you been? Hey, I'm going to be in your neighborhood. Or hey, you want to grab a cup of coffee and catch up? You know, that type of energy. And BAM! The rest of the spread is just love overload. <laughs> love overload. I, I swear, that's what the spread is. With the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Lovers, and the Ten of Cups, it's just... It's gonna rain love on you. <laughs> and both of you, as a matter of fact. Right? The Lovers could simply be a Gemini you're dealing with. The Lovers is also a card of a choice, but uh, it, it doesn't strike me like a choice. Right? Yeah, we all choose to be or not to be in relationships or marriages, but, uh, you know, in my opinion, the lovers is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection, a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers could be the love of your life card. Then we got the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups. It doesn't, it does not get any more lovey-dovey than that. You know, both of them are all about love, true, genuine, authentic love. And uh, I usually say it when just one of them shows up. When both of them are on, are on the table, yeah, confirmed. The, the universe is confirming its love. Speaking of more love, the Ten of Cups right next to the deck is the Happily Ever After card. Family card, commitment, marriage card, Leo. So, yeah. <laughs> All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Leo, this week. Uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, clarified by the Six of Swords. We have the Two of Ones, clarified by Strength. And uh, we have the Three of Ones on the bottom of the deck. This looks good, um, Leo. The only major arcana card on the table is Strength, right next to the deck, and it's your major arcana card. That means you're the one... Uh, in charge, you're the one calling the shots, or maybe everything revolves around you, or you have the final word, or something like that. Let me explain what's going on. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups falling after that, right? So you got the Ace of Pentacles, which is an offer coming your way, a very serious, generous, uh, long-term offer, and I think you're going to accept it. I think you're accepting it. With the Two of Cups, the next card over, I often refer to the Two of Cups as the handshake card. This is a card of when people literally shake hands, when people agree, when people sign paperwork, when people are on the same page. It's kind of, it could be some kind of a partnership, alliance, or simply an agreeing, yes, I'm, I'm accepting the job, or yes, I want to do business with you. Okay? However, after that, we have the two ones, clarified by strength. So after that, you will still have to make some kind of a decision. You're going to agree to it, you're going to shake hands, you're going to sign something, and after that, you will still have to decide on something with the two ones, clarified by strength, right? Perhaps you're going to decide as to how you're going to break the news to your existing employer, or you're going to decide, so, um, like, how is that going to affect your life in the long term? Or you're going to have to decide what you're going to do with all that extra money. <laughs> all right? Or something among those lines. You will still have to make a decision post-factum, right? After you agree to something. Right? And uh, you will come up with a decision. The three of ones on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, I think that card also belongs to you. And that card naturally comes after the two of ones. The three of ones is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and this decision is final. All right, so keep that in mind. The offer is legit, the offer is good, and I, and I see you going for it, but after that, you will still have to make some kind of a decision. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Leo. We have uh, the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Three of Cups, left by the Hermit, and the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You're going to a Virgo birthday party, Leo. That's it. That's what you're not expecting. All right, end of the reading. <laughs> but yeah, the, that's what's actually going on. Because both the Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit, they're, they can, they're, these are Virgo cards, especially the Hermit. The Hermit is 
Virgo Major Arcana card. And uh, we're wrapping up our Virgo birthday season this week. So it, it's there is no other way for me to interpret this, uh, Leo, right? Uh, the Three of Cups, uh, the Hermit is clarifying, is a, card, is a card of a party, right? <laughs> the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck could also be a card of a party. The Eight of Wands is a card of communication, and uh, it's also a card of literally going somewhere. So yeah, you're going to a Leo's, uh, I mean, <laughs> Leo, you're going to a Virgo's birthday party. All right, um, Leo, so that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Leo, have an amazing week.